Alright guys, welcome to your 8th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about something called methods. Now you know how I said that objects have attributes? Well objects can also have something called methods. Now methods are the things that objects do. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this for a little bit. You know how I said everything in life is an object? I'm an object, my car is an object. Well, aside from just having attributes like blue, green, old, smelly, objects can also do things. For example, like I said, I'm an object. I can talk. I can eat chicken nuggets. I can make tutorials. These are things that I do. So these would be my methods. Now computers can also do things. Now they can't eat chicken nuggets and make tutorials like me, but they can do some things like print text on the screen, play sounds, make graphics. So those are the methods that computers can do and those are the methods that we're going to be learning how to create. So let's go ahead and create a simple method that prints text on a screen. Now just like attributes, all methods, or I want to back up because that isn't entirely true, but the methods that we're going to create in this tutorial, these methods have to go inside a class. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a class called Bucky and I'm gonna make a method now in order to make a method the very first thing we need to do is give it a name now whenever we give a method a name technically in Ruby programming it's called defining a method so we write DEF and I'll just go ahead and name it talk because I'm just gonna go ahead and print some text out on the screen something I would say so you can name it whatever you want but I'm gonna name my method talk so pretty much we need to give the method a title now in the next line we need to give it instructions what do we want this method to do well all I want this method to do is print something on the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and write puts and write something stupid like hi my name is Bucky explanation point and go ahead and hit enter so that's all this method is gonna do we defined a method its name is talk and its job is to print something out on the screen that says hi my name is Bucky now in order to end your method go ahead and write end now how does this know that we want to end the method and not the class well it knows that we want to end the method because that's the most recent thing we're working with so whenever we hit end first it knows automatically that we want to end our method now let's go ahead and write end again and hit enter and it automatically knows that whenever we hit it this time it means end the class so think of this method as being embedded inside this class. So these three lines in the middle are the, are the method, and this class Bucky and end at the end, end at the end, hmm, it's kind of a weird way to say it, but that's the class. And of course we get nil, which basically means, okay, you don't have any errors, you're good to go. So now, with that being said, we have a method created. In the class Bucky, we have something called talk. So how do we use our method? Well, just like attributes, anytime you want to use anything in your class, you need to have an object. So I'm going to go ahead and make an object called BO, which stands for Bucky Object. It also stands for Body Odor, but in this case, I'm just going to say BO equals Bucky Object equals Bucky New. So BO is an object from the Bucky class, and of course, it's a new object. This is the first time we're creating it. Go ahead and hit Enter. So now we have BO bucket object stored at this location in memory. The location, not really important. So you know how in order to access an attribute, we go ahead and write the object, and then we use the dot separator or a period, and then we go ahead and write the name of the attribute? Well, this is the exact same thing with methods. In order to use this method, go ahead and write your object name, which is BO, period, and then the method name. Now go ahead and press enter, and now your method is gonna run whatever instructions you have in that method that's what is going to happen so basically all this method does is print out on the screen hi my name is Bucky so whenever we call our method which is talk and press enter it prints out on the screen hi my name is Bucky so just remember this objects have attributes and they also have methods attributes are like characteristics of the object and methods are jobs that the object can do so basically just remember that objects attributes and methods 
If you remember that, you'll be good to go. So this was a very basic method that we created. All it did was print something out on the screen, but these methods are gonna get more complex and there's more to methods than just creating a simple line and you'll see there's a whole nother world that I didn't show you guys yet. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.